All right, let's turn now to the reason that players say that they're protesting. They've, of course, made a message of inequality, a centerpiece of why these NFL athletes took a knee this weekend after Donald Trump attacked them, said they are deserving of being fired for uh, taking a knee on the American flag. It's about respect, he says, not race. Turn out Robert Donashi, a reporter at the Daily Caller News Foundation. And Robert, you looked into specifically the game between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Baltimore Ravens Mm -hmm. in London at Wembley Stadium, the very first game to go yesterday, thanks to the time zones. Mm -hmm. And what did you discover about the players who demonstrated yesterday? So of the 17 players who took a knee in protest of the national anthem, their total salaries are almost $450 million, uh, million, which is like greater than the GDP of five nations. If you can put that in context. Just to put it in perspective. Yeah, five nations. Um, And in total around the league, around 23% of all the players either knelt or stood or like stood off the field in the locker room and did not participate. So so you had half a billion dollars in contract value from one game. Take a knee in London Mm -hmm. and then nearly a quarter of the league demonstrating on Sunday. Uh, It's pretty amazing. Do you think these guys realize like kind of the the tension between those two positions like they're fighting for fighting about inequality yet? Here they are making half a billion dollars on the field. Um, the optics are certainly not good. And the, the, the question that like comes to my mind is with nearly $450 million, couldn't you be funding programs for after school or in, instituting change of any number of ways with all of that money? I mean, you're making more money than literal nations that are producing goods and services. Right. And some of those guys are, are, are actually doing that. I mean, they're doing good things with some of their, with their money, Precisely. clearly. Mm-hmm. Um, It was interesting to watch this weekend as players sort of tried to rationalize uh, what they were doing to the extent that any of them spoke in public. I mean, this was kind of a silent demonstration for most of these guys. It was interesting to watch because it seems to be be the position is the First Amendment protects my ability to do this, Mm -hmm. yet the thing that they're protesting is the American flag. Is the American flag. Ostensibly. I mean, that's certainly the appearance here. That's the appearance. I mean, if you look at some of the players like LaShawn McCoy, who notably stretched during the national anthem, he didn't even take a knee. He tweeted Saturday, Saturday evening, that um, the president is an asshole. So, I mean... So his position was, I mean, so he was... He was very public about (laughs) what his protest uh, was for, which is against the message put forth by President Donald Trump, which Trump actually started speaking about this a month ago, but he really came off in a, the Luther Strange speech yes. in Alabama. Yeah, last and then Friday. he continued with his tweets throughout the weekend throughout the going weekend. after the NFL. Mm-hmm. And again, I, I mentioned at the top of this that you know he steps in front of Air Force One yesterday on Sunday, mm-hmm. and he says, "Look, this is not about race. This is about respect for our flag." Yeah. Uh, and meanwhile, you've got, I think, very mixed messages coming from the players in the NFL. It was clearly, and Robert, I want to get your your opinion on this. It looked to be pretty clearly a reaction specifically to Donald Trump, that this wasn't about some sort of single issue. This was about being angry at the president. That's the only motivation that I that I can find, and the only one that I've seen publicly um, put forth. I haven't even seen the reason necessarily why they are protesting the national anthem specifically, have you? No, no one has issued a statement on that. Exactly. And if you go back, actually, and look at what Colin Kaepernick had originally said about In all of this, yeah. he talked about being ashamed of his country, mm-hmm. actually. So it wasn't, it wasn't just about, hey, the First Amendment protects this, or here are the benefits that I have in this country. It was about the downsides, actually. And isn't it interesting that everybody who took a knee in Wembley stood for the British National Anthem? Is that true? Yeah, or maybe not everybody, but it, <laughs> it, it looked like, at least on the sideline, well, that was the case. Well, Britain is far more equal than the United States, apparently. Apparently so. Yeah. All right, Robert Donashie from the Daily Caller News Foundation, thank you. Thank you for having me. 